Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Festival of bloody football, eh? Let's, in this video, five things not to do during festival of football. I told you, I, to I, I what did I say? I, but I told you, I told you, they're definitely gonna do something for the Euros. They love it, they, they love it, they love that sweet, that sweet moolah. Oh, they do, they love it. Oh, have you met Entrepreneur? So this is what the team is currently looking like ahead of the Euros promo. I said it in yesterday's video, but I'm really hoping that France have a decent Euros so I can upgrade some of these cards. Lads, if you enjoy this video, drop a like on it if you are hyped for the Euros and let me know down in the comment section who is winning. However, we need there's, the, there's a couple of things that we need to talk about. The first main one being, if you do want to go and buy yourself any FIFA coins, make sure to click the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. As always, boys, they have been the sponsor on the channel for a very long time. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a discount. However, without further ado, let's jump into point number one. So, boys, the first point of this, I know that people come and go to this channel and you always come back, but there's, there's one message that I need to... Uh, I need to ram down your throats. That's going to be point number one, which is going to be don't buy FIFA points. They're not worth the money. Save your money. Go and buy a beer. Enjoy yourself over the Euros promo event. Boys, do not touch anything to do with FIFA points. Lads, if you subscribe to this channel, I will help you out as much as I can do to make coins and ensure that you're not spending any money over this promo event. If you want to go and open some packs, the main thing that I would personally recommend doing is doing it League SBCs. If you don't know what League SBCs are, where the hell have you been for all these months? But there are all these right here and they will give you packs back for different SBCs. In terms of getting the players for those SBCs, you can trade up to the SBCs themselves or what you can do is you can trade up to a big, big coin amount and at the minute, what you can actually go and do is open 5k gold packs because they're really really good value for coins at the minute and it will help you stack up your club as much as possible so basically with the 5k gold packs what you're going to be doing is you're going to be opening them anything that sells for a decent amount like position modifiers you're going to sell on and then anything that you're sort of keeping hello oh nice Oh, this yeah, this is what I'm on about 83 rated. This is good for SBCs boys But anything that goes for a decent amount you can sell on as well and you can keep the rest in your club So for example right here, I've got myself this guy from Eba, I think that's how you pronounce the name of it and Bordeaux as well So I can chuck all those into the club in addition to that as well I've also got myself some position modifiers that go for a little something something and I can sell those on to recoup some of the cost of that pack In addition to that as well, I've also got myself an 83 rated card who's currently going for around 2,000 coins So I could sell on the 83 I could sell on the position modifier and this position modifier make 6,000 coins back And then I've got two players that can go into different packs from league SBCs or any casino SBCs that come out So that's gonna be the first little point don't buy FIFA points You can open packs and scratch that itch in a much better way, which is a lot more cost-effective Please do not give EA any more of your money this year No Moving into point number two it is gonna be this do not buy SBC fodder on the day now now we've got that first point out of the way, I can sort of tell you a bit more about what festival of football is going to be about. It's basically going to be the Euros themed promo content without the branding for the Euros. Now, what we've had in previous editions of the game is daily SBCs based on man of the match performances, which has been ridiculous. In addition to that as well, we've also had different tournaments, which should now be objectives. And in my opinion, I think it would be a good idea to load up on fodder on rewards day or any other time that we get mass supply. So think Friday or whenever it may be. One thing that you don't want to be doing throughout this whole promo event is picking up any of this stuff on the day of release please honestly please 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 do not do it do not so let's think ahead straight away to what we're going to be getting on the first day of the promo event. In my opinion, I think that we are going to be getting maybe some objective sauce SBCs around that first game, which is going to be between Italy and Turkey. Now, one thing that you can go and do on rewards day, or maybe even on Friday night as well, is go through and snipe yourself some gold common centre backs who are from Turkey and the from Italy as well. In addition to that as well, what you can also do is go for the right backs, you can go for the left backs, the left mids and the right mids, basically just scarce positions and you can do the exact same thing with Turkey. Now, what I would recommend to do is do this over rewards day and pick up as many as you can as close to discard as possible. With any stuff around the individual games themselves, always as close to discard price as possible. But in addition to that as well, one thing that you need to bear in mind is that we're going to be getting these daily SBCs. So 84, 85, 86, 87, 88 rated fodder is a very, very good play. Now, if you're not too sure on the players that you're going to be picking up, click the link in the description. There's a link to the Discord. I give out calls as much as I can do. It's free real estate. 
Moving into point number three, it is going to be a similar point to the SBC fodder. Don't buy objective fodder on the day. Now, what is objective fodder? Now, how do I describe this? So typically when we do get objectives, let's just go and take a look at some of the objectives that we've got at the minute. Typically when we get objectives, they're similar to this, do X, Y, and Z in a foot friendly with X, Y, and Z. So one thing that I would highly recommend to do, maybe on Thursday, rewards day, or as the content comes out, you could just time it right. But the reason why I'm saying don't buy it on the day is because say if you see the objectives and it's half six, everything's already inflated. But if you can buy it just at that 6 p.m. time, you could make some really nice coins. However, if you do it also on rewards day when it's at its absolute lowest, you guarantee your profit as well. So what are the objectives going to be for the festival football promo event well we don't know just yet so one thing that i would personally do is say for example there's a big game coming up like example i'm just going to use that first game as the example what you should be doing is going for strikers gold row italian or strikers gold row turkish or basically you look at previous objectives that have come out and you have a look at what that content has been beforehand so for example right look at each individual card here we could get an objective which is score six goals with an italian who has got minimum four star week but a lot he would fit that trait. However, he's a bit high at the minute. So this is why I'm saying you get as cheap as discount price as you can do every single time. Or for example, Edda, four star, four star, he could easily fit into an objective. And you can do this with pretty much any game that's coming up, depending on how the promo is going. Only do it if they're sort of pushing down that. Don't try and think that they're going to do something majorly different just on like a Wednesday, for example, because the EA, they typically follow the same trends every single promo event. And if they start off doing something, it's very rare that they'll sort of go against that so let's just go and take a look as well at turkey for example i'm not saying to go and pick these up right now i'm saying if they get cheap enough on rewards they might not necessarily be a bad buy so yilmaz whilst he fits into that of striker turkish he's three star three star ideally ea have always made it that you need high weak foot and skill moves for all of this so let's just go and take a look at all the gold rows just from turkey as an example so you've got him sionku kabak none of these are going to have high weak foot and skill moves or whatever it may be let's just go and take a look really really chickly let's go and take a look really really quickly at Canaloglu and let's just see how much he is currently going for on the market as you can see on the market he's going for pretty expensive but he falls into that of that four star four star so please do just bear that in mind throughout this promo event if these players get down to discard price pick them up because even if they don't go up you can just sell them for what you bought for and it's absolutely no risk so that's going to be my next point don't buy objective fodder as you're about to do it try and buy it in advance as much as you can do moving into point number four it is going to be this please do not buy any players when they are out of packs trust me now what do i mean when players are out of packs so let's just take a look for example at one player who's in packs currently as a different card now what I mean by that is when players get a special card and that's going to happen throughout all of this Euros promo say for example we get like a team of the group stage or a team of the knockout stage or team of the bloody blast stage some certain players are going to go out of packs so for example one player who is out of packs currently is Harry Kane now his normal version is out of packs and it's been replaced by this team of the season version because this is in packs so what actually happens to that normal gold card whilst it goes out of packs the demand usually stays more or less the same with the different SBCs that we get all the time now harry kane on the market currently is going for around 30 odd thousand coins there or thereabouts let me just double check how much he's going for um, yeah i thought he was i thought he was footbin is slightly off footbin's telling me that he's going for around 33.5 which isn't the case he's actually going for 35,000. now when this card was in packs before and not sort of taken out of packs with all the supply dried up this card was going for 28,000 coins so that's a 7,000 coin rise just on harry kane right so what you need to be keeping in mind throughout this promo event is is this player out of packs because with all the SBCs that we're going to get you might find yourself looking to go and buy some players and you might think oh such a body would fit in perfectly to this SBC but you're going to get stung so so much from out of pack investing now on the flip side of it if you were one of those people who saw that Harry Kane was going out of packs and you saw him at that 28,000 coin mark you might have seen that and gone shit I've got 280,000 I'll go and pick up 10 of them and if you picked up 10 of them you could potentially be making yourself 70,000 coins profit just on that one 
one card. So that's another thing which I would say for point number four is don't buy players when they go out of packs, but try and buy them before they're going out of packs because typically if it's fodder, think 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89 rated, they will typically go up out of packs because the demand for that player typically stays there about the same and the supply dries up. So it's a perfect investment opportunity. And one thing that you do need to bear in mind if you are going to invest around that is how long they're out of packs for. If it's a week, perfect. If it's a day, probably not going to rise too much in price. BMW. And finally moving into point number five. Yeah, it's better be it's better be fire and fireworks. I'm a fee for YouTuber boys, I've not got an art degree yet. Just Leave me alone, man. Anyway, point number five is gonna be thus. Do not ignore the club stock. Now, what is a club stock, Lewis? Ah, I'm so glad you asked. I'm so glad you asked. Now, as you'll be able to see at the minute, gold commons are mega, 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 mega expensive. Now, these will come down soon. At the minute, these are only expensive because of the player picks that we've currently got. However, with rewards there looming tomorrow and Friday coming as well, which will potentially bring lightning rounds. Let's be completely honest, it will bring lightning rounds. We've got two days left on these player picks and we've got two windows of opportunity to buy these. So basically what you want to go and do is, say for example, you come on Friday and we've got no player picks and no real content. You need to come onto the market and you need to sit here and snipe gold commons at a burr maximum of 400 coins now you can see right now when we've got a well demanded repeatable svc gold commons can actually go ridiculously high in price now you can go and try and snipe these now but pretty much everyone in the nan will be doing this and it's going to be absolutely impossible for you to do this you've got competition against other people you've got competition against bots however when friday comes and that svc is expired and then we get lightning rounds which will give gold rares but people will have also saved packs these are going to come down heavily in price so go and pick up gold commons at any point during this promo event at 400 coins sell on when you're happy with the profit and then on the flip side of that what you can also do is go for gold rares and pay no more than 750 coins per each gold rare that you see and you'll be able to snipe these tomorrow with a rewards day because we'll get heavy supply and you'll be able to do it over the weekend as well because we're going to get some lightning rounds so even if people don't open the safe packs from the lightning rounds these are going to come down in price and i think lads that's going to be everything that you need to know ahead of this new promo event let's it's going to be such an interesting time i'm really looking forward to it i'm going to try and be live on youtube as much as i can be i'll have a stream live on friday night for the italy and turkey game and then i'll probably do a video maybe saturday or sunday so be there or be square however lads that is where i'm going to be wrapping up this video hope you guys have enjoyed if you have make sure to drop a like on this video as you can see i've been doing a tiniest bit of trading at the minute i need to really get that coin amount back up because i've spent it on players and i've just been an idiot with all the coins that I had saved up. But let's, it's Betty Six, Lewis. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. But it's Betty Six, Lewis, and I am off.